Okay, great. Uh, so, uh, good evening. I am R Rafael Soria, and I am representing to the Energy Planning Program from the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. Now I'm talking from, from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. And in this short presentation, I will... Oh, one second. In this short presentation, I will present a brief introduction of, about um, explaining how how we use the system advisor model, the, the SAM, to design and to evaluate the preliminary configuration of concentrated solar power, uh, CSP, biomass hybridized power plants in Brazil. And uh, so we will briefly explain how to, how outputs from SAM constitute some important inputs for an integrated energy planning tool such as Message Brazil is. Uh, we would like to share with you some of our experiences with the system advisor model, SAM. Uh, we started to work with SAM in 2010. Since then, we have tried all the released versions of SAM, working especially with the 2011 version that incorporated a useful tool, tool for optimization, in addition to the parametric analysis that is also available in recent versions. In several scientific publications, we have used SAM as part of the tools and methodologies. And here I'm sharing a presentation with more details than what I need now. But uh, I think it will be useful if someone is interested in more details. Brazil has a, a large technical and economic potential to deploy CSP plants, especially in the northeast region of Brazil. Uh, here, where around 97,000 square kilometers receive direct normal radiation of more than 6 kilowatt hour per square meter day. And while the Brazilian government is interested in developing CSP plants under the current auction scheme, the country has not yet found or a way to do that. For example, at the end of 2014, ACSP projects with a total capacity of 200 megawatts were registered to participate in an auction. But, however, there was no CSP plan contracted. One second. Okay, now in this in these tables, we can see um, now that uh, using SAM, we have analyzed different configurations of CSP plants, including different sizes of thermal energy storage and different shares of backup systems to produce electricity. In all of the cases, the, level, the levelized cost of electricity, ECOE, was always higher than the price of the electricity contracted in recent auctions, including renewable energy auctions. So uh, we looked for an alternative to have cheaper electricity from CSP in Brazil. Uh, okay, so um, in our most recent study, we proved that Brazil could follow a CSP de development pathway different to the verified in other countries. Uh, in the northeast uh, region of Brazil, there is a semi-arid region, and there is availability of large quantities of local biomass from uh, um, this biomass is called, technically called as Mimosa temiflora, and is commonly known as Jurema preta. And Brazil already produces steam turbines, biomass boilers, salts for thermal storage, and has a robust metal mechanic industry. And this industrial experience that is very related to biomass industry in Brazil can also be used to foster national CSP production. And that's why the government is very interested in this idea of CSP hybrid, hybridized with biomass in Brazil. Okay, so uh, basically our objectives in this, uh, in this study uh, were related to evaluate the economic feasibility of biomass hybrid CSP plants 
that use Jurema Preta goods operating operating in the northeast part of Brazil. Um, for that, we use primary data collected in the field at uh, a Fazenda Union estate, which is a, a real estate in, in the region. Some of the important data collected there are the low heat value of these goods, the density, humidity, its price, and which is the availability and production cycle of related to this uh, to this kind of biomass. Okay, so uh, we took as a benchmarking price of electricity the upper price that opened the bid in the Pernambuco State auction. That that auction happened in December 2013, and the upper price in that auction was 11 cents per kilowatt hour. And based on that, we simulate 30 megawatt CSP biomass hybridized power plants, subject to two important restrictions. The first one is uh, the first one is to produce electricity with a levelized cost of electricity less than 11 cents per kilowatt hour. And the second restriction is that more than 51% of the annual electricity production should happen by using the steam production from the solar field. It means we looked for a solar power plant hybridized with biomass and not the opposite. In this picture, uh, we present the northeastern region of the country with high DNI, uh, where exists CSP potential. The red point here, uh, close to Bahia State, within, within Bahia State actually, uh, represents the location of Facenda Union State, where a large Jurema Preta forest is already used for energetic uses. Currently, they produce charcoal, and they show interest to supply goods for the hybridization of CSP plants. The study used primary data collected on the field, for example, the price of biomass and its productivity and the production cycle. And to do that, several parametric simulations in some were done. For example, this table shows all the input data that fit some to simulate a CSP power plant in Brazil. As I said, we tested a 30 megawatt power plant using parabolic truth collectors, and the heat transfer fluid was BP1. The selected was uh, the selected location was Bon Jesus da Lapa, for which there is, there is availability of typical meteorological year data from the Suera project. As you see uh, here, the, the solar multiple and the biomass field fraction were not um, a fixed input for the model. Instead, those values were calculated based on a parametric analysis that we did, trying to fulfill with both restrictions that, as I said before, the levelized cost of electricity has to be less than 11 cents per kilowatt hour, and that the share of annual electricity production associated with the solar field should be higher than 51 percent. Additionally, additionally the operation of each hybridized configuration was tested in supplemental operation mode, considering an appropriate biomass boiler efficiency and the fuel cost as the good cost. Uh, in the, the first table uh, shows the financial parameters used for the study, based on real financial programs in Brazil. And the second table represents the cost of electricity now the cost of the of the components that were that were modeled in the CSP plant. I have to highlight that most of the values here come from uh, a standard values of some, but um, there are some values that were adapted to reflect Brazilian conditions. For example, the value of the contingency uh, land. Uh, fixed and variable operational and maintenance costs, um, also the the cost of the goods and the solar field. It's important to to highlight also that these 
uh, is a very low price for the solar field that is based in personal communications that we had with a, a Canadian company that produces uh, parabolic truth collectors. And they said they are interested in coming to Brazil to produce their components on site. Uh, okay, now in this table um, we present some results. Using SAM, we concluded that the best configuration to fulfill with the restrictions are a combination of solar multiple equal to 1.2 and um, a biomass field fraction equal to 30 percent. By using that combination of parameters, it is possible to produce electricity with the levelized cost of ele uh, electricity of 11 cents per kilowatt hour, having a share of annual electricity production from steam uh, produced in the solar field equal to 53 percent. That means uh, that we calculated pre in a preliminary way a solar power plant and not a biomass power plant. I mean this is a solar power plant hybridized with biomass. In this table uh, we present other important results obtained with some but I will not go into details. Uh, so now I will talk a little bit how some outputs from SAM are used for, are, are used as, as an input to fit an integrated energy planning tool, in this case to fit Message Brazil. Message Brazil is a planning tool uh, that models all the energy conversion chain from primary energy to useful energy services, considering the consumption in 11 industries, plus agriculture, plus residential, commercial, and transport sectors. Uh, our message Brazil uh, considered three uh, big uh, geographical regions, which are uh, the, the, the subsystem one, which is the north and northeast, the subsystem two, which is south, east, midwest, and south, and the subsystem called R, that is the western part of the north, which is mostly isolated. And so basically, in this in this uh, slide, we can see a complex energy conversion chain with more than 300 technologies through six intermediate energy levels. And this is just a, a representation. Uh, and now we can we can uh, see we can see here how some outputs from SAM are used as inputs for for message. And uh, basically, what what is the most important is the electricity production profile and the capacity factors that are uh, obtained uh, with uh, simulations in SAM. There are um, basically two ways how can we model CSP technology within message. It can be represented in a simple stylized way as one process of energy conversion uh, or it can be represented in a little bit more complex way. Uh, here, we, for example, here we can see two energy levels: one for the thermal energy produced in the solar field or in the backup system, and other energy level produced in for the electricity produced in the in the power block. Finally, in this example, for example, um, we see the hourly electricity production that was calculated with SAM, and then it was processed in, in Excel to fit a seasonal electricity production for time blocks of message Brazil that considers four seasons, here four seasons, and each day is divided in five time blocks. And now, uh, and in this figure, we can see different electricity production profiles for for different kinds of CSP power plants, including the option of power plant hybridized with biomass. Um, 
uh, as I said before, each day is divided in time blocks of different duration, and, and here we can see a typical uh, day in summer and typical day in winter, and how this electricity production profile is uh, calculated or message based on outputs of SAM. Um, I think um, I, I think I have mentioned some conclusions during the whole presentation, so I will leave with you these final remarks, and I will thank to the to the institutions that finance our research, and I will thank to NREL for the opportunity to present our work to you, and when I will also thank to the to the all the participants for for their attention. Now I think um, I'm open to listening to your questions. I, I hope to give good answers. Thanks. Great. Thank you, Rafael, for the detailed presentation. Um, as you say, we are now opening the floor to any questions if anyone would like to ask. Yeah, from the um, the room here, uh, maybe you could just review for me. Maybe I missed it. How so? System advisor model does the CS can do a CSP plant, how do you hybridize the biomass into that? Is that done within system advisor model or was that a add-on or how does that actually work? Uh, yeah, thanks for the question. Actually, uh, we ha I know I know we, we have some limitations with some to model in appropriate way um, a detailed biomass a detailed CSP hybridized biomass power plant because, as you know, some is uh, was was thing was was uh, was developed to represent fossil uh, fuel fractions, uh, commonly natural gas. So, but yeah, but uh, it's possible to consider also biomass hybridization, just uh, considering an appropriate efficiency for the biomass boiler. And also, of course, considering an appropriate cost for the fuel, which in, in this case is biomass. And, and then, of course, there are some restrictions regarding the operational mode because we use, for example, the, the minimum, no, we use the supplemental operational mode because uh, that, uh, the, the, the idea behind that is that biomass a biomass boiler is not so flexible as a natural gas boiler is, so it is not possible to using a minimum backup uh, operational mode. That's why we use the, the supplemental operational mode. So yeah, in the, for the future, I also would like to, to recommend to Wenrel if it's possible to improve a little bit the biomass uh, possibility in in some. I have a question. Um, so, for your biomass hybridization um, project to work, does that require that the actual biomass that's being used come from the immediate vicinity of where the plant would be? And and I guess what what sort of um what sort of things are included in when you say biomass? Yeah, um, in the case of the northeast region of Brazil, and this biomass that I was I, I was showing, which is called Jurema Preta, is a a, a local, uh, well adapted biomass. And it's, um, they 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 are they exist in large quantities in in the region. They consume a little bit of water. Um, we are not talking about. Uh, growing an energetic uh, crop for CSP hybridizing, we are talking about using in a sustainable way uh, existing forests of uh, of this kind of biomass. But on the other hand, Brazil is also rich in resources. In the southeast of in the southeast region of Brazil, there is large quantities of uh, sugarcane vagas, which are also available for hybridizing CSP plants. Uh, 